what we've done is to ask whether or not all of us have exactly the same nutritional requirements for vitamins and minerals. The amount that we think that we need was actually established in the 1940s and has gone almost unchanged in 65 years. It turns out that some genes have defects in them that make enzymes that are not quite up to snuff, that are not working optimally. And interestingly, a very large fraction of those kinds of partially defective genes make enzymes that are partially defective yet can be tuned up by adding more of the vitamin that that enzyme ordinarily needs to do its job. So for those people who choose to get a genome sequence, we'll help them interpret a subset of the genetic variants that they'll discover in their genome in a way that they can say, ah, it looks like on average I may need more vitamin B6 than the next person does. We will have the reference information that people will need to be able to take charge of their own personalized nutrition. It's a form of the personalized medicine that you read about and hear about. This is a form of personalized medicine and personalized genetics that each consumer will have the opportunity to make their own decisions on and act on in ways that will no doubt improve their, their health. One of the things that I find very gratifying is that the power of modern biomedical research is such that the time between when one has the inspiration to try something new and the time which you can actually test the idea and try to act upon it is really short. And I feel particularly gratified that the environment here is such that we can have an idea, test its validity, and then reduce it to practice in a very short period of time. That, that really thrills me.